Good afternoon, folks. This is Danny with Danny's Luxury Cruise Vacations. We're an independent affiliate of the Avoya Travel Network. And today we have Caitlin from Explorer Journeys. And we're going to learn a little bit about this wonderful new product that takes you to amazing destinations throughout the world. Caitlin, welcome and thank you so, from, so much for being here today. Yeah, thank you for having me, Danny. I'm so excited to share a little bit more about Explorer Journeys and what we have to offer. Wonderful. Well, what I'd like to start off by asking is, is Explorer Journeys a luxury brand? Yes, absolutely. Um, and we're actually the newest luxury ocean experience for travelers to enjoy. Uh, we had our first ship launch in August 2023, and we are owned by the Aponte family. So we are the vision, the dream, the passion project of this world-renowned family. And we had the privilege of bringing their dream to reality. And with their expertise, we have created an incredibly vibrant European cosmopolitan experience on the waters with Swiss hospitality and luxury touches throughout the journey. So, yes, absolutely. Wonderful, wonderful. And what what, what will you say are your demographics? What's your target audience? Yeah, so we have some really beautiful, uh, we have some really wonderful demographics that I'd like to talk to you about. I'm just sharing some pictures in the background here so your audience can see our beautiful ship itself um, because it is just absolutely beautiful. But I'll talk about our audience. Uh, we have discerning travelers anywhere from 45 to 65 years old uh, with the average, of, uh, the average age of late 50s. And our guests are typically affluent working travelers. They're tenured in their careers. Someone who wants and needs a nice little holiday break. We can't be gone for too long, typically. Um, we do have some retirees that are traveling with us, but typically we have more working uh, travelers um, who need to stay connected and can't be away for too long. Uh, they also have families who they travel with sometimes, whether it's young children uh, or adult children. But most importantly, our guests are looking for modern luxury touches and they love being pampered, but they also want a level of autonomy and flexibility in their type of journeys, without a doubt. Beautiful. Perfect. And, and who would you say would enjoy a uh, journey on your wonderful ships? Really, anyone who's looking for a sophisticated, relaxed experience, our travel or our itineraries travel to hidden gem destinations, <clears throat> really allowing our guests to be wowed by something new and exciting. That was really important to us. And our journeys also attract a lot of new to cruising uh, guests. So we have a lot of people who are on board that really come to us because they love at the look and feel of it a boutique luxury hotel. When you see our ships, as you already, I'm sure, have noticed, it really has more of that boutique hotel look than a traditional cruise line. So here, here's, an, well, at least I think, an interesting question. Why explore <laughs> journeys and not explore a cruise line? Well, we thought it was very important to highlight that our itineraries aren't just going to take you from place to place. Um, it wasn't just a couple hours in destination and then you keep going, right? We thought it was really important to dive deep into the destinations that we offer to have a richer, more fulfilling holiday experience. So our destinations really focus on the journey aspect and not just a quick vacation. We really want to have a more authentic experience for our guests. Beautiful. And I guess this leads into the next question. Where do you, where do your cruise ships visit? Well, we have some wonderful sailings, and I might add that we do have our journeys available to book right now well into spring of 2026. I know we just started 24, but we know guests love to uh, plan out their journey. So we do have itineraries all the way until 2026 right now available to book through through you, Daddy, of course. <laughs> um, but we do sail all throughout the Caribbean. Um, right now, we are currently in the Caribbean. Um, I think it's also something to point out. Right now, we have our one ship. Um, I mentioned August uh, 2023 was when we launched Explore Journeys. So we currently have one ship that's in the water. And it is, it, you'll see on the screen, um, the red lines kind of zigzagging. So in our inaugural year, we started in Europe. We, we went up to the North Sea. 
made our way down through Iceland and Greenland. And so right now during the winter months, which I know so many of your travelers that, um, and your guests are probably a knee deep in snow right now. Um, we're in the Caribbean. They would love our itineraries. Please book a last minute journey to the Caribbean. Get out of that cold weather. I can't believe how freezing it is for you guys right now. Um, but we also have itineraries uh, throughout uh, the uh, the winter and spring uh, into Central South America and then uh, the West Coast of the U.S. and the Hawaiian Islands later this spring. And then by summertime, we're going to be uh, heading back to Europe and the Mediterranean to have the next uh, uh, summer season in the Med. So wonderful, wonderful itineraries to choose from. And we also will have um, our Explorer 2, our second ship that's going to be launching at the end of next summer. So we will be uh, really ex expanding the destinations that we're going to over the next few years because something really fabulous in the next five years, we are going to, well, actually four years now, we're at, now that we're in 2024, in the next four years, we're going to have six ships in the water. So if your guests aren't seeing something, a destination they're, they're necessarily super interested in here, just wait a year or two. And I guarantee you, we are going to be opening up the world to your guests with the destinations that we are going to be traveling to. Fabulous, fabulous. So um, my, my next question for you, Caitlin, is, is everything all inclusive on your products or is there something that may not be included? Yeah, absolutely. So we offer uh, an all included package on board, including very culinary experiences, which would be our restaurants on board, unlimited beverages, fine wines, premium spirits. Uh, this is the big one, Wi-Fi throughout the ship. We allow three devices per person. And uh, like I said, we have working professionals that are traveling with us. So that was a really important one. But we have other things like onboard facilities, well-being and fitness classes. Um, we also have access to our spa thermal areas uh, that we do have available. And that was really important to us. I'm just showing some pictures of our culinary. Um, we also have, of course, our images of our bars and lounges. So just to give your guests a little taste of all the different beautiful inclusions that we have. Um, of course, we have our spa and our pools, our wool pools. Who wouldn't want to be sitting here, right? Um, Absolutely. But the thing that we do have is our all included packages on board, but we do not have our shore excursions, which are included. And that was very specific. We call them destination experiences. We don't call them shore excursions. Um, and that was very strategic because back when we were creating Explorer Journeys during the pandemic, we surveyed over 20,000 travelers and asked them what they wanted to see in a new luxury ocean experience. And one of the biggest takeaways is that they wanted customization and value for their money. So including an inexpensive uh, experience that isn't tailored to what the guest's interest was, just to say that it was included, really didn't fit the two things that the guests were wanting, customization and value. So they would rather decide and tell us what they wanted to do, whether it was one of our wonderful curated experiences, like you see here, kayaking the mangroves in the Caribbean, or they want to do something customized and tailored to exactly what they wanted to do. We really felt, and that's what the guests were asking for, is where the value lies. So that's why we just decided to not include them in the, the overall package price. Perfect, perfect. So here's, a, 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 in my opinion, a, a huge question. We know there's a, a lot of uh, cruise lines out there, a lot of amazing ships, a lot of amazing products out there. And we know that you are in the elite top end, end of the market. What makes Explorer Journeys special or different from your amazing competition? Well, that, that's a tough question because there's just so many things that I could talk about. Uh, the look and feel of the ship itself like I mentioned earlier, feels more like that boutique luxury hotel rather than one of those grand uh, cruise ships that you're normally used to seeing, even in the luxury market. Um, our ships are considered medium size. Um, we're not a small ship, but we're not those ultra lux, uh, or excuse me, ultra large uh, cruise ships that you're getting. So the look and feel of the ship itself, completely different than what uh, a traditional cruiser would uh, anticipate. Uh, and then the service of our staff is next to none. We have a 1.25 to 1 staff to guest ratio 
it really is something spectacular. Uh, our incredible suites, our residences, our insanely delicious food. It's really hard to just describe it in one thing because it's a combination of so many smaller things. Less daily announcements heard overhead. Who wants to be relaxing and then hearing an announcement of something going on on board, right? Less yeah. daily announcements, all day European style coffee cafes throughout the ship, our intimate bars and lounges, our unique nighttime entertainment. The fact that our staff know your name and you know theirs because you could strike up conversation. Just the entire flow of the experience is so much more personalized and customized than most other cruise lines would be. So it really was important to say today that it's a lot of things but it's really the overall experience feels so much more intimate and more um, boutique than what you would get on a larger uh, other uh, luxury line. And I think this screen that you're showing right now uh, leads me into my last question and pretty much answers it. Are all of your accommodation suites? Yes. And I, I brought this one because I had, I teased it. I said our incredible suites and residences. And I, I, I would be remiss if I didn't at least touch on this for a moment, because yes, we have all oceanfront private terrace suites on board. We don't, you'll notice our terminology is a little bit different. We don't call mm -hmm. them balconies. We don't call them anything different than terraces. And so our terraces uh, on our ship are one of the most, uh, beautiful things about our ships is we like to call all of our suites homes at sea. We have no interior cabins, no portholes. Every single suite or every single room is a suite category or higher. So our leading category is our ocean terrace, which start at 377 square feet, which is incredible. I mean, that that's, is. It, it is amazing. And uh, we also have our ocean penthouses that we have here. You can see uh, we also have our ocean residences that our guests are absolutely loving. And so it's really important for us to be able to showcase some of these beautiful homes at sea for our guests. And then, of course, our, our owner's residence with uh, over 3,000 square feet oh, to wow. absolutely love. So it's truly a home, a home away from home so without that's a doubt bigger. you will enjoy your stay on explorer journeys that's bigger than my house <laughs> yeah <laughs> a lot of people <laughs> that's right that's right well caitlin that that hit everything that you said to hit the nail on the head that was absolutely amazing and uh i wish i was there right now myself you know it's 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 beautiful me too <laughs> Well, I appreciate you taking the time, Danny. I would love to see some of your guests on board. I hope this was a good little teaser. Definitely, I would say check us out on social media. See all of our beautiful photos that guests are sharing. Go to our YouTube channel. I'm sure if you have questions, definitely have your guests give you a call, answer any questions that you might have. But just want to say thank you for your time today. Thank you, Caitlin. It was wonderful. And thank you for your time. Have a great afternoon and a wonderful rest of the week. You too, Danny. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.